Hello folks, my name is Rojo, and welcome back to Realms of the Haunting. When we last left off, we found ourselves in this uh, observatory type area. So, uh, we've got a lot of documents here, we'll read those in a sec. Let's take a look at some of this other stuff first. Hmm. Solar system. Venus marked for some reason. Most like Earth of all planets. Venus. Yes, the morning star. It's another name for Venus. Ah. Well, that sort of fits some things, doesn't it? The, uh, we've heard about the Temple of the Morning Star. Well, there you go. Hmm. Solar System. Venus. Yes, the Morning Star. It's another name for Venus. Okay. 1779. Fleur and Maison. French. Mademoiselle, you really amaze me sometimes. All right, we've heard that before as well. Um, hmm. Uh, I don't think this is an actual observatory, now that I... Think about this is be uh um I can't think of the name of the room, but uh you, you all know what I mean. It's one of the one of the uh, the pretend ones. Quill and ink. Someone likes to use the old method. Expensive too. Golden nib. We'll take that, I guess. Look at this. Somebody left here in a hurry. Chair knocked over and everything. So we've got a book. I guess we'll just look at this first. Or is it a book? Wow. This looks like serious stuff. Journal. Leather bound and embossed. What's the design on the cover? Embossed with the initial F. There's something sticking out of the pages. Nicely worked silver key. Ah, so we got a key out of this. And is that it? I wonder if the gardener that Florentine mentions in the journal is Raphael. Or is it one of the others? Raphael did say he was the last. That means that there must have been more at some point in the past. If it is, it means that he's been around as long as Florentine has. Hmm. Uh, I don't recall that. So let's, uh... Ah. Okay. So we can, we can page down here. Um, alright, one moment. Alright. Just throwing the old glasses on. <laughs> Give me the best chance of actually being able to read this properly. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, uh, Claude Florentine, uh, entry the morning of the 15th of January, 1330 AD, Temple of the Morning Star. Um, no fewer than 22 acolytes have entered the tower, uh, since our efforts began two weeks ago. With only one returning in the uh, intervening time, this man, Thomas, swore that he had met with someone within the tower who named himself the gardener. Thomas swore to the power that this gardener aided him in his escape only moments before the gibbering madness of the ire fell upon him. Uh, this experience has had an adverse effect on the man. His body could be used to sate the hunger of the one power if he proves to be of no further use to us. Um, goats and poultry can be expensive and sometimes intellectual. Is that, is that what I'm reading? Uh, the testimony of Thomas concerning the... Um, hmm existence of this gardener I am gonna go with uh, I must say that I am ah Jesus acceptable no like skeptical <laughs> uh, whether what he uh, saw was figment or truth I cannot say but Belial reliably informs us that the last of the gardeners perished at the fall of the stone Let's take his word is truth. Okay. Next page. And uh, there's more here. Club Florentine, entry 17th of January. This is two days later. Temple of the Morning Star. Uh, following our initial experiment, it is, it is um, clear to me that magical means should be employed for safety. Uh, after many long hours of reading and speculating, I have located the seal and sigil of the minion, uh... Hmm. 
Oh no, Raquel? Aquiel? Uh, it's not an R. Gaquiel? <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm not sure what this name is. Um one of the lesser powers. Um on the uh the last crossing to the tower, the power, uh what's his face? Headed heeded my call. Uh to guide Belial and I through um the labyrinth uh the labyrinth void uh, misleading the ire as we traveled eventually uh we uh happened upon the chamber of the soul stone within the realm of shoal our order now stand upon the threshold the last of the great days the final shard of the stone or the first shard of the stone is now prepared we are projecting, they are preparing uh, for the next crossing. Stars are aligned and the portents are favorable. For the, the greater cause of the power, we walk to the tower. Uh, for the first time, we walk without fear of the ire. Interesting. More pages. How many fucking pages are there? Oh my god, you got <laughs> this too many pages. Okay. So this is going to be a reading episode where we're just going to read this and uh, then we will do more gameplay uh, in the next one. How about that? So, uh, all right, next part of the journal here. Uh, Claude Florentine, entry the afternoon 17th, January, wait, is that 15th? And then this was the key, right? Okay, so one, we read that one, read that one. Now we're on this one. All right, 25th of January, so about a week later. Um, he's never at the Temple College. Uh, all went as planned initially within the Chamber of the Soul Stone, but as the first seal upon the first shard was broken by ward and power, the very uh, lines of hell... Uh, hmm. Lines of hell, something, and weld in all quarters... Hmm. It's a little too blurry for me to read. Belial was by my side uh, with a sword, and in an instant to pro uh, with a sword in an instant to protect me from harm. Uh, hmm. It was by my side with a sword and sword in an instant to protect. Ah, oh, <laughs> adding words that don't exist. Okay. Well, I was by my side with a sword in an instant to protect me from harm, but hopefully, uh, but uh, regretfully, I think actually. Uh, I passed out in the heat. Uh, when I awoke, it was upon I was it was upon the grass um, hmm, verge beside the smoldering remains of the temple. Hmm. Uh, whatever failsafes had been sprung by the breaking of the seal had followed Belial and I, and he carried me back through the tower to the temple. As fortune would have it, the oh, is that is that line? No, is it, the line did not spread to my priestly shack. No, the fire, the fire did not <laughs> spread to my priestly shack. Um, by the uh, the war and all is all, and most of the papers are still survive. Um, what puzzles me though is how Belial managed to escape both the fire and the ire, and fifty acolytes and priests perished. In the resulting inferno. All right. Um, morning of the twenty-sixth. So next day, have I made a terrible mistake by taking the sword from the soul stone? Have I inadvertently set into motion a series of events which I may be unable to halt? Is the sword some in some way? Is the sword some way connected to the soul stone? Belial cannot touch the thing at all for some reason. It burns me to the touch now, uh, so much that I have decided to place it in a place of safekeep. My immediate plans for the future are unclear for, for the moment, uh, but through my contests, one uh, contacts, one fact is clear: the first shard in seal and the first shard in seal and seal are unmade. Okay, uh, and the. Uh, Cause of the temple must continue. Belial has promised me acolytes from Europe would be willing to travel to aid in the rebuilding of the temple. 
Favors owed, probably, I dare not speculate. <clears throat> All right. So, this is the 29th, few days later. So, the Temple Cottage here. Because uh, that's, that's where he was before, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, the sword has disappeared from the safe place in the cottage. I immediately suspected Belial, but then realized my mistake. Uh, last... Uh, something... He was as... Last Eve, I guess, maybe? He was... Uh, as restless as a newborn foal, as we set, um, convening in the study, uh, he blamed his uneasiness upon the absence of the sword. Beginning to believe him, now the thief will be caught, caught and dealt with, mark my words. All right. So that was 29th of January, so... A month and a half later, in the York Library, the tower is as useful as is dan is as useful as is dangerous. Um, once once this was not the case, but as I can, but as I am, I am one of the few who has traveled there and unto other realms in the pursuit of the order's goals and lived. I can say with all sincerity that the crossings are fraught with all kinds of hidden dangers, uh, even even with minions to guide. The ire is constantly present within the tower, whether distant or near. Uh, its unnerving ability to hunt and devour those who come to its place of to its place is astounding. I refer to a manuscript that I have had sent. Uh, from France concerning the travels of a magician from the last century. There's no mention of any gardener in the tower's past uh, kind of uh, past conation? 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 Something like that? The manuscript uh, being only a fragment of a much larger body. This is from the manuscript, I suppose. At first the dark and Within, I heard the fetid laughter of the souls of the ire. It came once upon me like a storm, chain, uh, charged with rage and uh, gibberish song, hypnotizing and calling for sweet perdition. I ran, for I knew uh, the tales of, the, of this forgotten place. I ran and stumbled upon the cracked pave of the tower, but it was always there, here and beyond. There, there and always its face looming from the shadowy depths. From whence and where did this thing come? I know, as I fell upon the cold stone, the face of death smiling down. I knew, as I fell. Well, how the fuck did he write this then? <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so 1330 AD. This is 90 years later. Almost. Ah, uh, still by Claude. So this dude is actual, an actual immortal, I guess? I fear um, the fire that ravaged this place when the second shard and seal was was uh, broken from the uh, same source as 24 years ago. Um, damn the light and burn it burn it from its place uh, if we are able to lose if we were to lose more acolytes, acolytes and uh, severely deplete our monetary I'm going to go with reserves to rebuild the temple each time this um, each time this success each time this occurs uh, then we must uh, postpone our endeavor for a while until the problem can be solved. Belial again saving my life in the fire was, uh, has whispered to me of an otherworldly device that may aid the order, but its location and power is shielded from him. We are therefore currently making the necessary plans to travel to Plymouth and, uh, there pay for passage on some merchant ships to, uh, can't read that. Israel, maybe? 
Uh, the threat from our old uh, Temple Order there, uh, from our old Temple Order there, does not bother me so much. Uh, now that it, its existence is speculative. Uh, if we, if we made, we make Israel in good time. I hope for us to meet uh, there with the minions. Man, I really wish I could read that. Maybe, I don't know. Minion, um, Gakwiel, it doesn't sound stupid. <laughs> I don't think that's right, but that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a G here, and a Q there, and an A and I, and E and an L. <laughs> but whatever. Um, I can't read this. Fe Fecor, Rekor, and Ark. And Archangel, and uh, anyway, bargain with them. Uh, for their aid in our attack. They are adept in seeking out the impossible and locating what is hidden. Hopefully our little setbacks will be avoided for good. Uh, we make the journey south on the morrow. Alrighty. Uh, 1490 AD. So this is uh, 70 years later-ish. Aboard the merchant ship Osprey, bound for England. Osprey, rather. Uh, we are currently sailing off the southern point of uh, Bonhomme uh, in the Baltic. And if favorable winds prevail, we will dock at Southampton on the 14th of this month. Our, uh, our trek through Europe has only proven successful in uh, respect to the... Proven successful, I think, in respect to the lives. Um, but we also have been able to recruit our order new members. Some of them distinguished and rich. They've uh, they have instructions on as to where to meet with us in England in the next year in the new year. Uh, I look forward to their arrival. While in Madrid, I took the opportunity. To call in an old friend who was able to disclose secrets of the or disclose secrets of the tower from an old manuscript uh, he had saved from the library before the Inquisition could impose themselves. As I sit here in this salt stinking cabin, I cannot help but wonder what Thomas had said to me so long ago given what the scroll discloses. Okay, last flipping one. 1521 AD. So this is 21 years in the future. Back at the Temple of the Morning Star, no less. Uh, the great power of the shards has appeared to us. Thankfully, through Abaddon's... Though Abaddon's reasons are his own, he has divulged the secrets of the shards and seals within the Chamber of the Soul Stone. It's holding something back. I know it. I have confidence uh, in this power, yet something disturbs Belial, though again he is um, reticent. Uh, no matter no matter how much I think I know him, I am forced, or I am, hmm, no matter how much I think I know him, I am forever abated in my belief by his petty shows of secrecy. Uh, speaking unto him, uh, we have agreed that it may be for the best at this time if the two did not cross paths. Belial is more convinced of this. Is more than convinced of this. Uh, the Tower Abaddon has revealed much. The name Raziel, I think, has appeared in our conversation much, and this power appears to have place and dominion within the spiritual realm of Raquia for some reason. Abaddon has informed us that uh, Raziel has uh, is a neutral power, like himself, uh, with the agency of imprisonment and freedom uh, over those that uh, transgress certain laws. I must speak with this power called Raziel uh, at some future point, but a device for passage into Raquia, his realm, is beyond my sight. 
Abaddon will disclose sites and locations of these and all other devices, but uh, uh, I feel the cost of bargaining will be high. I fear I must agree to his terms all the same. The Egyptian mask and the other devices I now keep uh, secure from the others. Would this act... <coughs> Excuse me. With this act, I can be sure that only I may tread the paths of the tower unless permission is asked uh, personally by others. Okay. Holy shit. Oh, so that's a lot to take in. A lot of story stuff. Um, we will do these next time as sort of a summary for people who didn't want to watch this out of courtesy, I guess. Um, but for now, we will also look at these other documents real quick. Hmm. Solar system. Venus marked for some reason. Most like Earth of all planets. Also known as the Morning Star. The planet that marks Lucifer in the sky. Ah. Okay, that's interesting, I suppose. Hmm. Also known Can't really do anything with it, though. So, uh, we'll just grab this other one. Sketch of somewhere. Some place we've not yet come across. Okay, yeah. Definitely, uh... Definitely does not look familiar to me. Um, well... I think that's it. So we've got ourselves a key... That, uh... We can try out, and we've got, uh... Of course, the journal. We learned a lot. But I think it's time for us to go. I, I have an idea of where I might want to use the key. Um, so we'll check it out when we come back.